What's going on guys? My name is Matt RMC Sports Talk and this week for Top App Tuesday we have a game called Swap Attack. This game is awesome, okay? It's not even the top 10. I think it might be top 10 right now on the top app. It's not the top app. Don't touch the white tile. It's still the top app. And I did a gameplay of that last week. So if you haven't seen that video yet, annotations are right here. Links in the description. Definitely go check that out. You're going to want to try to download that and play and see if you can beat my score. But for right now, Swamp Attack, this is a game I've been playing for about a week now. This game is extremely similar to... Plants vs. Zombies first and foremost, and also like Angry Birds. It's got a bunch of different missions. You can see right here, um, I'm going to scroll way to the left. You start off, obviously, Mission 1, and then you go all the way up. I think there's about 20 missions yet. 19 missions until Episode 2, and then Episode 2's got a bunch of missions. And they had Episode 3, and then I think they're going to be expanding. Yeah, coming soon. So they have three full worlds, or episodes as they call them, of about 20 missions each. And I'm going to tell you right now, I've been playing for about a week. I'm only on level 15. I've been playing daily for about a week. This game is not easy. It is a lot of fun to play. Uh, it's simple concept, but there's a lot of different power-ups and upgrades and weapons and uh, the coin process and then your potion process. I'm going to get into all that right now. So you guys sit back, relax, download the app. Links in the description if you want to download it. It's an awesome game. It's free to play. You can buy uh, in-game rewards if you want, but it's free to play. I suggest you go and try it if you like Plants or Zombies or Angry Birds. So basically, I'm going to start off by telling you about what you see on the display right here. So when you come in here, you pick your mission, right? Uh, on the upper left-hand corner, you got batteries right there. You see I have two full batteries and one is charging right now. So basically what happens is every time you lose a game, you lose a battery life. And if you basically lose six lives, you have to wait until your batteries recharge to even try to play again. So basically that's a good thing to make sure you don't actually play the game too long and sit inside all day and play the game. Nobody wants to do that. You got to go outside and play, right? You can't be sitting outside playing games all day. So it lets you play. You're really good, you keep going, you don't lose your batteries, but there's a there's a wait time. If you lose enough, you, there's a wait time in between, which I think is a great thing, even though it's kind of annoying. If you're really into the game, you want to play. Um, you can see right here, this floating one, there's always a quick mission. You can always do the quick mission, and I'll start off by doing the quick mission, just to show you guys what the game's about, give you guys an idea of what to do in the game, and then we'll get into mission 15, which I guarantee you I won't win. So for quick missions, you basically spin the slot, and you get uh, it decides what you get in your, your arsenal. Like, normally you buy stuff, and then you have whatever you have, this one gives you a specific thing based on what you draw. So, so you can see right here, I have an M16 with a lot of bullets in it. Um, and you can see they're already coming. This is actually a bad map to play because there's fog, so it's very hard to see. There's a raccoon right there. This is a rat. The rats will shoot you from far away and they can retreat. The rats are definitely the hardest animal to kill so far. And I actually have a bad... The M16 you might think is good, but you want to have the shotgun at least a, at least a shotgun. And then e, possibly another gun if you could use another gun as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So the main animal is the crocodile. That's what you start out with. You can see right here I'm shooting on the crocodiles. That wasn't too hard. And there it's over already. And I didn't get to show you. On the top right hand corner I had a fridge. Which basically drops a fridge down and freezes the animals where they are. That's a very good power up. And you have a mazel top. Uh, which is basically a fire uh, alcohol bottle that blows up and sets them all on fire and slowly kills them. So you can see right there I get a quick 300 points. If you don't want ads, all you have to do is buy one thing in game. I do not like to pay for stuff, so I'm not going to buy anything in game. Uh, the game is free to play, free to download, so if you want to do that, you can do that. So right here I'm going to show you. You can see right there my battery actually just went down. Not sure why, probably because I played a quick mission, but um, if you play a regular mission and succeed, your battery stays alive. Um, so that's actually the battery is also actually I think determines uh, is based on your health your house health We'll get into that in a minute. So you can see right here on the weapons list you start out with a shotgun I've already gotten up to a 12 um, 12 clip shotgun that's by upgrading it and I've upgraded it four out of the seven possible upgrades you can do uh, Upgrading it just gives it more range and power then the next thing you can get uh, I think is level seven you get an Uzi Unlocked and then you can buy ammo and upgrade for that upgrade it twice M16 is next I just got that on level 12 of the first episode uh, there are three episodes on the first on this game so far. They're going to be coming out with more soon. So there's a lot of, uh, there's about 20 missions per episode. I'll show you that in a minute. For now, M16, and then later on, you see episode two, you get flamethrower, crossbow, minigun. You can only unlock that with coins. You need to get a ton of coins for that. So that's later on. The next thing you have is explosives. Uh, explosives are really important because when you run out of ammo and you're reloading, you want to have some kind of other way to kill the animals that continue to come. These bugs are annoying. If you click them away, they go away, but it's kind of kind of annoying to have them roaching around you got dynamite which is your number one thing you want to buy Mo um molotov i said it wrong i said mazel tov before <laughs> my bad uh and then fridge basically you drop a fridge down it freezes the animals so you can do that i don't even know why i don't have a fridge equipped right now i should have that equipped already 
Uh, you can see right there, I have two of those, two of those. Uh, later on, you get oil can, the battery, acid rain, stop sign, stinky, and A-bomb. I don't even know what those do. have no idea, but we'll find out later on. Defense, I've also invested. I have uh, mounted wood. I've upgraded that once. Cousin Roy, uh, basically Cousin Roy is going to sit on top of my house, and he will basically pick off the little flies that come, and that's very important for certain uh, levels. The flies are a waste of bullets. You don't want to kill them because it's one-shot kill. It's just a waste of bullet. Uh, you want to use those for the big animals, so you, Cousin Roy will just take those out for you. That's definitely good. You can get barricades, spikes, metal, mine, and then oil barrels coming later on when they do their new DLC, probably. Special, um, this is all the stuff you can buy. You can double coins, gifts, potions. Basically, potions I have none right now, but you'll start off, I think, with three potions to start the game when you get it downloaded for free. Uh, potions let you revive yourself if you lose in-game and you want to keep going. You can use a potion to revive yourself and they sell potions, obviously. That's how they make their money. So let's get into the game. Let me stop talking here. You can see that this is the first episode. They have two, they have three episodes. Much like Angry Birds and Plants vs. Zombies, you go through this world uh, and unlock stuff as you go along. You can see on each one, that one's got a UFO. It's a UFO level. You got presents in between each one. So you know when you're going to get stuff. And then whenever they come out with the DLC, they're going to probably expand and have more episodes. Um, so I, I see this happen. I see this being an app that follows the success. Um, probably won't be nearly as successful as Angry Birds or Plants vs Zombies, but I see it being uh, the same game type, game style as those games. So I'll shut up now. I know you guys want to see the actual gameplay. Let's go in. I'm gonna tell you right now, this game is not easy. Much like Angry Birds and Plants vs Zombies, it will take more than one try to beat these levels. I'm only level 15. Uh, and I've lost this level many times. So these levels, it's called the UFO levels, or I call them UFO levels. Basically, the UFOs will take all your stuff in the beginning, which really screws you over, and you have to shoot them while you're shooting the animals to get your stuff back. And you can see right there, I just got a fridge back right away. Um, you want to be very, very, you know, cautious about how you use your shotgun ammo. I'm not going to tell you guys uh, that it's easy at all, because this game, it looks, I mean, the crocodiles, they look friendly and all. And, you know, the little rats with the shotguns look friendly. The rats suck. They are ratty. The rats are ratty as hell. See, right now, I don't know if I should shoot this and try to get my stuff back. Watch, I'm going to show you what the fridge does right here. Basically, it freezes them, and I'm going to need that. Oh, I missed. That is bad. You want to get rid of the rats as soon as you can because they will take down your fort real quick. And that is not something you want. I got two more fridges. I'm going to use another one real quick because I'm going to need to slow these guys down. Uh, Cousin Roy on top there, the little gecko thing, is not going to kill them at all. He doesn't help me except for flies, and I don't think there are flies in this level. I'm getting a lot of fridges, so I'm gonna keep using those. You wanna kill this rat, and you can see right here how long it takes a shotgun to reload. You gotta be really, really, really specific on where you wanna shoot. Uh, try to shoot into crowds of animals, because since the shotgun sprays, oh, let's get this present real quick. Oh no, I died already. That's how hard it was. I mean, it, you might look like I'm doing badly. If you got a potion there, you can restart the game, but I don't. Uh, this game's hard. I'm not going to lie. It's really hard. We're going to go again, though. The Flying Saucer. You can see how much ammo I had that it took. It took all my power-ups in the right-hand corner. Um, but I basically have my shotgun here, and that's why I want to shoot the... Ugh, I freaking missed it again. That's why you want to shoot the UFOs before you even want to shoot the animals sometimes, because you need to get that stuff back. You literally cannot win... Past, I would say past round 10, you can't win at all with just a shotgun. Even if it's fully upgraded like mine, the ammo, you just can't. It takes way too long to reload, uh, and it doesn't do enough damage per per shot to basically let you survive long enough before they attack your, your home base. So, my best advice is if you're stuck on a level like I had, I was stuck on level 12 for about, let's use M16 here to show you guys. The M16 is really good long range. But what I was going to say is... Oh my god, I need to use one of these. Um, i got to get rid of this guy. There we go. If you're stuck on a level, like this level right here, I'm pretty much stuck. Um, what you want to do, if you're continually stuck on a level, and you can't beat it. See right here, this guy, I'm going to let that guy... These, see these little things are going to go, because Cousin Roy will kill them. Um, so I can reload my shotgun while I'm waiting. If you're stuck on a level, like this one right here... My best advice is if you can't beat it, don't use your power-ups and don't use your extra ammo beside your shotgun. The shotgun will always have ammo. It will only regen its ammo. The, um, I gotta start shooting these because they're actually taking down my fort. The, uh, the other guns, however, you have to buy ammo for. Once you run out of ammo for them, they're gone. And your power-ups, obviously, once you run out of power-ups, they're gone as well. So, my advice to you is if you're stuck on a level like this one, I'm probably gonna lose this one. You still earn the coins if you lose the level. They still go into your bank. So, what you want to do is savor your, your power-ups, savor your extra bullets, and continue to rack up points 
and then buy enough to where the point where you can use those power-ups like I'm going to use right now to uh, hopefully kill. Let's freeze them real quick and throw this in and throw another one in. And... Oh, I died. Really? Who came in and killed them? Oh, I was so close to beating it. You can see the little progress bar, the little alligator up in the right-hand corner. That's your progress bar. I'm going to try to go again. Oh, you see right here? Oh, this is a good point, actually. Um, when you play too much and you lose energy and you continue to lose like I have been, you need more energy, right? You need your batteries, at least one battery filled up. And you can see right here, you got I got to wait 4 minutes and 40 seconds to restart uh, to even play again. Or they, you know, cue me in here, refill now, I can buy another potion or another 10 potions, which is basically like a revive for a dollar. And even though it's only a dollar and it's just not that much money, I'm not gonna. So I'm gonna wait the four minutes, uh, take a little break, and we'll be coming right back. All right, guys, we're back now, and um, I've built up basically two chargers, two batteries. You can see, I actually can't even see it. My bad. So here we go again. Um, I let them take all my stuff. I actually bought a couple more things. Hopefully, we'll get them back from the UA the UFOs really quick. But I'm gonna focus here, and hopefully, we can get somewhere in this this round. I really want to beat round 15 since I've been trying to beat it for a while now. I would love to beat it on camera for you guys, but I'm just saying straight up, it's really not that easy. Once you start playing the game, you realize this game is actually really difficult. Um, and it's not like I'm going to beat the level every single time I play it for you. I'm basically doing the playthrough for the top app. And again, if you guys want to see me continue this series as a full series on my channel and do the whole playthrough, I will. Just leave a comment and let me know if you guys want to see that. I'm going to use this Uzi here because the shotgun takes way too long to reload. Although this thing is real unreliable right now. Let's get this frozen. Because we need to, oh man, it's going to take forever to reload. Let's do this and burn them all. Oh no. The freaking rats shoot from so far. We're going to lose. We're going to lose again. I got 60 coins. That is bad. Bad, bad, bad. I think I'm going to have one more, uh, I'll have one more battery left. I'll go one more time here. See, I fought, oh, it's so lame that I can't get them back. The UFO levels are literally the hardest levels because they take all your stuff. So no matter how much stuff you have, you're screwed because it's you're literally down to your shotgun. That's it. And you get luck of the draw with the UFOs. You basically got to shoot the UFO and waste your ammo. I guess I might as well try using these right away since whatever you use on this, you get from the UFO. You, it's like, even though it technically takes your stuff, um, it's you get all your stuff back the next level. So let's say you had five... Uh, dynamite sticks and two of the other ones you get those back Let me use this shit on them. These guys are freaking pains in the ass The rats are so ready you rat Let's see I need something good. Oh, no, I missed it I Gotta use this right away Oh man, we're gonna lose here Oh, We're going down quick shoot dude shoot God, so hard. This game is so hard. The levels with the UFO, so you get all my stuff back. But I'm not earning any coins. I think I'm out, yeah. So that's that, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave it a big thumbs up. Again, for the last time, let me know in the comments below if you do want to see this as a series on my channel. I'll do a playthrough. I'll put up the levels that are hard, how to beat, best tips, tips and tricks, and uh, me beating them, I guess, in the boss levels. I'll do those as well. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like again. Subscribe if you're new. If you enjoyed Top App Tuesday, definitely go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Share it with a friend. Let them know about it. And, of course, download the app and play it. Let me know what your guys' best strategy is, what level you guys get to, and if you guys enjoyed the game yourself. Thanks. Catch you guys next time. Peace.